Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community in 7 Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Questions with Emmy. I'm Emmy Eden, and today I'm chatting with Kelly Lang. She is an awesome singer, awesome songwriter, and a producer who has recorded duets with Olivia Newton-John, Lee Greenwood, and others. I, I interviewed Lee Greenwood, actually. Wow, you did. Isn't he wonderful? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure he enjoyed visiting with you. Kelly is also an artist, and her oil paintings hang in the homes of Oprah, Larry the Cable Guy, and more. Hey, I earned to read Larry the Cable Guy, too. Ah, uh, he's one of my favorites. He's so funny, right? Yeah, he told <laughs> me a lot of jokes. I hope they were good. <laughs> they were very good. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Oh, you are so welcome. I've been looking forward to visiting with you. Me, too. Should we get started with the questions? Absolutely. Okay. Far How- away. How did you get your start in the music industry? Well, the music industry is, uh, I don't know. I think it started when my dad began working for a huge country star called Conway Twitty. And it kind of piqued my interest. And I started singing when I was about six or seven years old. And I wanted to have the life that he might have led, you know, because it was really exciting. He traveled a lot and a lot of really fun things happened in his life. And So I began singing and songwriting very young, and we moved from Oklahoma to Tennessee when I was about seven, I guess. How old are you? I'm nine. Nine? So when I was a couple of years younger than you, we moved to Tennessee, and I started just singing everywhere, like at churches and school functions and nursing homes, and I eventually, uh, it led to me doing some local TV, and um, I was able to do some opening dates for other artists, and and it just kind of snowballed from there, I mean. What do you like better, writing songs or performing music? Boy, that you've got some deep questions, young lady. <laughs> I, it depends on what mood I'm in, really. I mean, if I'm in the mood to write, I don't really enjoy singing. If I'm in the mood to sing, I really don't enjoy writing. But I love them both equally. They're they're part different parts of the brain that I enjoy uh, tapping into. So, um, it de- you know what? It depends on how, uh, if I've got a, several songs that I've written up, and I'm done with a project, I really enjoy performing them a lot. So it's, it's kind of, I like, I like both of them. I've actually wrote some songs before, and I, I love to sing. I've been in a couple productions. Right now, I'm, I have play practice later today, actually, for Sousa Coleman Musical. So oh, my goodness. What's your part? I'm a who. Oh, that is awesome. What a wonderful start. I started in theater in school, too. I was Alice in Alice in Wonderland. That's so cool. I was Nala in Lion King. So, Girl, you are killing it. Yeah, I suggest you keep on with that. That was some of my best memories in life and met some really cool friends and lifelong friends through the plays that I was involved with. So rock on. That's great. Uh, my brother's in the place too. He's in Sioux school. We're both who's together and we're in a little who family. So. Oh, perfect. I can't wait to see. Are you going to have it online at all? Is your parents going to film it or? I think they will. You could maybe come to Idaho. That's an invitation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't been to Idaho in a long, long time, but I, it's beautiful. It's beautiful up there. Who knows? You never know. When is your play? Um, It's in February, so we have a little bit to go. But Okay. All right. Well, send me an invite. Okay. And we can have potatoes after the play. <laughs> <laughs> I love potatoes. <laughs> You've collaborated with a lot of talented musicians. Do you have a favorite duet? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. I, although I sing with my husband, T.G. Shepard, a lot, I, and I always enjoy working with him. Um, are you familiar with the lady named Olivia Newton-John? She played Sandy on Grease. You probably are familiar with Grease. Um, she was a really good friend of mine, Emmy, and she recently passed away. But we recorded a song together, and uh, it's actually going to be coming out on an album, a duet album that she's released uh, or we'll be releasing in, in the spring. And I'm really excited about being part of that. That was that was a really big honor. Can you tell me something about yourself that might surprise me? Hmm. Okay. So you living in Idaho, do you have a farm or do you have any cattle or? No, dad won't even <laughs> let us get a dog. Dad, are you kidding? <laughs> okay, so. When I was a little girl, my dad loved to have cows. He used to, you know, buy and trade cattle all, all the time, cattle all the time. And so um, 
one day he was at the farm and I pulled up to see what he was doing, see if he needed any help. And a mama cow was trying to have a baby and she wasn't able to have her. So I was there and dad couldn't help her pull the calf out. He, He was too big. So he had me help pull this baby calf out. No gloves. So, (laughs) but I would do it again. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that seeing this baby live and get up and walk. It was really a sweet moment, but that is surprising. I don't look like I would pull a calf, do I? Um, the closest thing to a pet we have is I'm wearing these bee earrings. So. Ooh, I love bees. That's sweet. I, love I, I, I just did an interview with a beekeeper, so. Oh, my goodness. You got all kinds of guests on your show. Yeah, I just did Donnie Osmond, too, on Thursday, yesterday. Okay, so Donnie's sister, Marie Osmond, she's a really good friend of mine. And uh, she did my makeup one time. That was another fun fact. She she was on a, a Facebook Live with me, and she did my whole makeup on on live. So it was right before her show in Las Vegas. But uh, they're a wonderful family. I bet you enjoyed that conversation because he loves kids too. Ask Marie if I can do an interview with her. I will. I'll be talking to her soon. I will. <laughs> have Have you ever been to Idaho and tried our? Well, you already said you've been to Idaho, but have you tried our famous potatoes? You probably have, right? I'm sure I have. Not uh, probably in passing, but not while I was there, because we just kind of went through Idaho, and I didn't get a chance to stop and visit and enjoy. Um, what's your favorite way to eat a potato? What's my favorite what? Way to eat a potato. <laughs> oh, the whole bag all at once. <laughs> Potato chips, that's my fave. <laughs> Those are good. The ones covered in salt. I know. I love, um, let's see, you know what, though? My favorite French fry is um, Chick-fil-A's waffle fries. Those are good. Right, okay. Yep, that's that's me. You were great friends with Olivia Newton and John, and sadly she passed away recently. Can you share a memory that you have with her? I have a lot of memories with her. I was just recently at her celebration of life. Uh, it was it was really sweet and really the the common thing about Olivia is that she really loved deep. She loved people really really hard, and everybody just talked about how every time she was with you, she even though she was going through health issues, she would ask you how you were feeling. She always made sure you were happy or you were taken care of. She put herself second, which I really thought was a lovely trait in her. But she taught me a lot of um, stage tricks and and things that she learned on movie sets. And uh, she taught me lighting, you know, pretty lighting for for interviewing and stuff. So, I mean, there would be too many to even list just one. Um, I hear her in my head all the time when I when I'm doing things and I think, what would Olivia do? You know, so she's a wonderful person. If you could perform with anyone, who would you choose? (sighs) <sighs> have you ever heard of Michael Buble? I interviewed him. What? Yeah. Love Michael. Can you hook me up? I want to meet I him. could. I, he sent me a package for my birthday, actually. Are you kidding? He's my favorite. I just love him so much, and I want to sing with him sometime. He, well, I, I can hook you up if you hook me up. Deal? Deal. You got okay. it. Seems like you know more people than I do, though. We've got to, <laughs> got to get your Rolodex. <laughs> everyone you interview, I know. I mean, not interview. Everyone that you talk about, I know. It's crazy. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You're an old soul, Emmy. I'm sure you've heard that before. Um. So what, can you share a piece of advice that you've been given that might help me in my life? You know, you don't need any help. <laughs> You're amazing. I, I just think that you radiate just incredible confidence and, and sunshine. And I just don't think you need any help. You don't need any advice. You're you're rocking it as you are. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Wonderful. Your parents have done a great job. Thank you so much for talking with me today. You are wonderful. And thank you so much. You're going to go so far. I'm so glad to be one of your earliest interviews because... I see big things in your future. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new seven questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.